Now let's go with Psalms 32. The blessedness of forgiveness. Let me put it right on the word. You can read it right there with me. Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sin is covered. It's hard to read it through the TV screen or the telephone screen here. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputes not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day. Go to verse 4. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. Go to verse 5. I acknowledge my sin unto you, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Verse 6. For this shall everyone who is, God, who is godly pray unto you in a time when you may be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come near unto him. Verse 7. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall compass me about with songs of deliverance. Verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the ways which you shall go. I will guide you with my eye. Let's go to verse 9. Move my stuff. Be ye not as a horse or as a mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto you. In verse 10, many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy shall compass with him. In verse 11, be glad in the Lord, rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye who are upright in heart. Let's just praise the Lord for the moment, give him all that's due to him. To know that we are the righteousness of the Lord, in him we can trust him. And to know that he's done everything for us already at the cross. A righteous man. Whose life was given for us so that we might have life in him. I pray this day, if you don't know the Lord, that you ask him to forgive you of your sins. Come into your heart and you make him Lord of you that you will have eternity with him from the very second you say yes Lord I receive you as my Lord and my Savior in Jesus name Father God if there's anybody needs prayer for healing of any sorts heal them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet make them whole complete all sickness, disease, and all assignments be broken off of them right now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. If you find you're having difficulties this day, getting through the day, keep praising the Lord. These strongholds will be broken off of you. Continue to take one step in front of the next, and you'll get to the other side. Put your faith, your hope in Jesus. He is the only true and one way to get to heaven. You have a blessed day now. And let's rejoice in the Lord. 
and be glad in the Lord and shout for joy all ye who are upright in heart love y'all have a blessed day amen